Martians? Uh, Marco, there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. For real? Totally. Take a look. What don't you see? Is it snacks? I love snacks. Well, nothing green, no plants, and nothing blue. So, no oceans, and also probably no snacks. All plants and animals, big or small, on land or in the oceans, need water to live. And Mars doesn't have enough. So that's why Mars isn't blue and green like Earth. It doesn't have any oceans or plants on it. So it's just all red rocks and dirt? Pretty much. Oh, <gasps> cool. So let's get down there. Buckle up, Polos. We're landing on. Because the gravity on Mars is less than half of what it is on Earth. Hey, Chester, if there's no life on Mars, then what's that? Huh? <gasps> oh, Twax! Twax! Lucky! You're right, Nash. They can't be footprints. Unless whoever made them has really long feet. <gasps> Why can everyone understand Nash but me? Oh, maybe they're trails left by snakes slithering along the ground. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I know my vehicles, and these are definitely made by a vehicle. A Martian vehicle, driven by a Martian creature. <gasps> but there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. No water, remember? Then what made that? Come on, Polos, let's follow the track. Yeah! Whoa! Here we go, Polos. What's that up ahead? It is the tallest volcano in the solar system, called Olympus Mons. Whoa! Olympus Mons is ginormous! Stop! Look at that! Starting here, the tracks go all over the place. Whatever made them could have gone any direction. Let's get out there and try to see which way they went. Telescope! Telescope! Oh! satellites are in orbit. There are thousands. Whoa! What? Whoa! Ah! The satellite we're visiting and many others like it are machines that have been launched into orbit. They send and receive signals to and from the Earth so that we can communicate with each other. Wow! So Corby and Lily's call had to go all the way up here before the signal got sent to us? Not just their call, everybody's calls. And videos. Look, weather reports. La 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 <laughs> la la. And, and music. music. So without satellites, we can't call our friends, watch shows, or even know if it's gonna rain. Wow. Let's see if we can see what's wrong with this satellite. Hold on. Whoa, wow. There's the problem. Oh, the antenna is bent. It can't send and receive signals from Earth if it's damaged. Well, I guess I better go straighten things out. Wait, you mean the antenna, right? You're going to go straighten out the antenna. <sighs> That's right, Chester, the antenna. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. Ugh. Whoa, whoa! Yes, I made it. Great, Marco. Now go over to the bent piece. <sighs> Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Ew! Okay, now straighten it, then tighten the bolt so it stays put. <gasps> it's stuck! <sighs> yeah, Marco, you did it! Way to push! Whoa! 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 Oof! Uh, I'm okay. 
Is it working? Corby, Lily, can you hear me? Hi, Polos! It works! Yeah, <laughs> all right! Way to go, Marco. We're happy to see you, too, because we've got a big problem. What? We forgot to pack spoons. Last time I ate soup without a spoon, it wasn't pretty. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Message received. We'll bring some. Hey, where's my drill? Hey, that's Venus. It's so bright. Really bright. Not only is it bright, it's really hot. The hottest planet in the solar system. The air in its atmosphere traps the heat. Wonder how Jester's doing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's keeping busy. Looky, looky, looky! Yeah, Nash, that's where we live, Earth. It's so beautiful. My personal favorite. Me too. Me three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you soon, Earth. We're coming up on Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. Oh, it's really red. But what's that white stuff? Those are polar ice caps. Just like Earth. <laughs> hey, Chester. Oh, uh, hi. Where are you guys now? We're just passing Jupiter. It's so big, it's hard to miss. It's the largest planet in the solar system. Did you know that Jupiter is 1,300 times bigger than Earth? Yeah, huge. Oh. And it's mostly gas, right? And it has lots of storms, too. There's one that's been going on for over 300 years. Whoa, that's a long time for bad weather. So, Chester, we're making really good time. We'll be there soon. OK, see you in a bit. Nash, Saturn. Wings, pretty wings. Yeah, it has rings. Cool, aren't they? They're made of millions of ice crystals. Some of them are really teeny tiny, no bigger than a speck of dust. And some of them are enormous, big as a house. I'm dancing like nobody's watching, because nobody's watching. Woohoo! Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Bibble -bop -bop -bop. Ooh, ooh. Passing planet number seven, Uranus. Rings, rings! Hey, it's got rings too. It's such a weird one. It spins on its side. Not too much farther to Pluto now. Chester must be ready for us to get there. Uh-huh. Yay, Neptune, the last planet in the solar system. Let's see what these things can do. I can fix this. Oh. Uh. Whoa. Huh? Ah! Uh, uh, whoa. I think these chairs need a huh? giant snowball. A giant snowball? Giant snowball headed straight for us. Uh. Hang on, Polos. Whoa, what was that? It was huge. Let's find out. Whoa! We're gaining on it! Woohoo! You know, I think that giant snowball is a comet. Comets are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look! It's changing! Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases, it's growing a long tail. Whoa! Whoa! It's the rocks and ice from the comet.
Come and stay! Ah! Willow! What do I do? Ah! You got this, Lily! Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it! Punching it! Chester? No, sorry, Garby. If we made it glow with light, could we wish on it then? Oh. oh, sorry. I just really want my wish to come true for you all. You're my best friends. Audrey, what was it that flew past the ship? The object was an asteroid heading towards Earth. Earth? Garby, that's great news. It is. Why? An asteroid's just a rock. A big, chunky rock floating through space. Like the ones in the asteroid belt, going around the sun between Mars and Jupiter. Yes, but when an asteroid reaches Earth and enters its atmosphere, it becomes a meteor, and then... What? Something cool? Tell us, Chester! We can't take the suspense! Take a look. Whoa, that meteor's bright! It looks like it's burning! That's because it is burning. When meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere, the friction of the air causes them to burn up and glow. It's actually on fire. Whoa! Whoa, that is cool. I mean, that is hot. <laughs> oh, Marco, yeah. So that's what I saw in the sky. I did see a shooting star. Only it wasn't a star. It was a meteor burning up. That's a big polo yes on that one, Garby. Hey, look! More asteroids! Lots more! What's happening? Sometimes only one asteroid falls into the Earth's atmosphere. Wow! Not this time. When there's a lot, like this. That's a meteor shower. Whoa! Lots of shooting stars! <gasps> My wish did come true! Now all of you can make a wish. I wish for us to have adventures this fun every day. I was just gonna wish for that popsicle I wanted, but your wish is way better. I wish for that too. Me too. Same here. Me too, me too. Or... We can have both. <gasps> yeah? Popsicles for everyone. Oh, <laughs> Yay! Yum. Thanks, Gorby. And we're back. Just in time for the meteor shower. Yay! Meteors! And popsicles! Wow! Prepare for landing.
it. Uh, I'm sorry, Chester. It's okay, Lily. It's not your fault. I didn't want to play with blocks anymore anyway. <laughs> Great flying, Willow. That asteroid really stuck up on us, huh? Well, we won't let that happen again. Warning, warning, warning. Asteroid approaching. Oh! Okay, so an asteroid snuck up on us twice. Definitely not a third time. <gasps> See? <laughs> it's okay, everyone. That bump was just another asteroid hitting ours. <laughs> another one? But I thought all the asteroids were super far apart. They are, but sometimes they cross paths, and wham, they break up into smaller pieces. It's been happening for millions of years. It's just what asteroids do. It is, isn't it? Chester, you're rebuilding your toy? I am. Well, what if it breaks again? Oh, it will for sure. But I won't let it bother me because I like playing with blocks. It's what I do. Me too. <laughs> well, I'd rather not be surprised by another asteroid again. So I'm buckling up, just in case. Me do, me do. Polos, we are not getting surprised by another asteroid. Uh-oh, Willow, please get us out of here before I say anything else. <laughs> So an asteroid belt isn't what keeps their pants from falling down. <laughs> but maybe asteroid tape will help keep their pieces together. <laughs> <laughs> Cordy, that's really silly. <laughs>